So hi guys, welcome to episode 19 of our Panathinaikos save. And in today's game, we've got two big games against IK Athens and Pauk. Now before we start those games, I just want to show you how we're doing so far. And if you remember in the last episode, we obviously discussed how it had split into the playoff stage. Well, unfortunately, we sit fifth out of the six teams in the playoffs. And I just want to show you why. We're going to quickly have a look at the schedule. And as you can see, we have been on an awful, awful run. We have not won a game in the last six. Since we beat AEK 3-1, we've then lost 4-0 to Milan. We drew 0-0 with Tripoli. We lost 6-3 to Milan. Now, I'm just going to go into that game. Delay got sent off. Uh, we played with 15-year-old Vince. And he bagged himself two goals in this game. Virgos also finally got off the mark. But because we were going attacking, obviously we conceded a lot of goals there. Uh, Traumatos we drew 0-0 with. AK we drew 1-0 with. And then we played Olympiacos where we lost 1-0 at home. Um, and to be fair, in that game we shouldn't have lost. Our last five games of the season are going to be really, really important if we are to win the league. Now I'm going to show you the league table right now. Uh, we're going to this stage here. So, as you can see, we're only four points behind top of the table, Pauk. If we beat them today, that will give us a massive chance. We'll only go one point behind them. Obviously, it depends how I can uh, Olympiacos do in their games. But potentially, we're only halfway through. Potentially, we could still win the league. So, let's go into the games now and see what we can do. So, the first game is against Pauk. We're playing away from home. Obviously, they're the favourites. We've struggled previously against this team, and it'll be interesting to see how we do today. So the lineup we're going to go for today is Diodis in goal. We've got Vagianidis and Ilias as the wing backs. Kolo Vetsios and Mavro Matis in the centre. We've got Garcia and Sandaris as defensive midfielders, and then we've got Tasso, Bazukis, um, Afanasokopoulos, and Macheda as our attackers. So hopefully. We can do something here. I'm going to keep it on short or passing. I might get rid of the overlap eventually. But we're going to keep it as it is at the moment. I'm not going to have it on float crosses actually. Because obviously we've got Machado up front. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get a good result today. So for the opposition, Pridjevic is the man that we need to look out for. Obviously, he scored against us last time. And uh, with our guys being a bit... I don't know. I don't know, I can't think of the word right now, but obviously we haven't been performing very well recently, so we need to we need to get some confidence. We've got nothing to lose here, go for it. We have got something to lose, because obviously if we don't win this, then we're n never going to win the league, but obviously I don't want to tell the players on that and put pressure on them, so hopefully by saying what we did, they would go out more relaxed and get a result today. But Nkudu brings the ball forward for Pauk. Pauk. On the attack, whips the ball in the box, and Prizkovic! Oh, Panathinaikos survived there. Hit the post. Yep, it didn't go in fully there. Diodis went to pick it up, but he dropped it. And then after he dropped it, Prizkovic went in on a sliding tackle and nearly put it in, but it went wide. And, and Kudu on the ball again. Looks to bring it forward to uh, Charisis, or whatever his name was. Whips it across. And it's all Pauk at the moment. They're really dominating the game. Whipped in. And Pelkus has headed the ball wide. I might have to switch to more positive. Because they are really pushing forward here in today's game. Tussle's picked up an injury now. That is not what we wanted. Silvestri is headed down. Fanus Coppola's on the ball. Look for Macheda. Macheda plays it back to Bazookis. Oh! And our first chance... Of the game has just gone wide. But if we keep playing some good football like that, then we might have a chance here today. But half an hour gone so far, and it is still nil-nil. AK have taken the lead against the Traumatos and Pelkus with a free kick now. It's headed in, and Diodis with the catch. Need to hold on here, boys. Throws it short to Garcia. Diodis on the ball again. Looks for Colo Vetsios. Plays it short to Ilias. To Colo. To Garcia. Finds Machado. Machado to Fanasakopoulos. Brings it forward. Good run by him. Looking for Machado again. Machado's through. 
And Jose Sar with a good save there. And that's good play by Panathinaikos. They nearly got through there and they've got a corner now. Bazooka swicks it in, but it's headed clear easily. And that was a wasted opportunity there for Panathinaikos. But they're not doing too bad so far. And Vagianidis brings the ball forward down centre again. Tasso on the ball now. Back to Vagianidis. Plays it in. Bazookis off the bar. Machado misses it. Afanasopoulos picks it up. Plays it back in. And the chance is wasted there. But again, Panathinaikos going close. We've only hit the target once in this half so far. But we've had some really good chances. And I'm going to ignore it. My assistant is saying, say there's no pressure. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to be assertive. And I'm going to say, I'm happy with your performance. Keep it up. Because we are playing quite well. Hopefully, hopefully we can get a winner here. But Tassel's picked up a knock. And I'm tempted to take him off. For our Banis. See how our Banis does as a winger on the right hand side. Normally plays as an inside forward on the left hand side. But we'll see what he does on the right. And we've conceded a throw. Stangle whips it in. It's headed clear. Chassis loses the ball to Bazookas. To Machado. Machado. And Fernando Sokopoulos. What a... Big ass, Danny. That's a dreadful miss. <laughs> he really should have done better there. And if... If this isn't working in the next five minutes, I might move them across so our banners can go on the left, Bazookas on the right, and then the Fanaskopoulos in the centre, which is what I am going to do now. And it's looking like we're going to get another draw, to be fair. It's not going to let us do anything. Okay. And we've got a throw on. A bonus swap in. Bazookas. And. I'll bring on Donis as well. Give him a chance. Oh, we've got a throw. Vagianidis. Long throw in the box. Machado picks it up. He's been tackled. It's hat clear. Bazookas wins the ball back. Look for Vagianidis. Can he get it in the box? He does. And it's a poor touch. But Albanis. Machado. Get in, son. And Albanis. Switched on to the left-hand side. The ball fell to his right foot where he's very dangerous. He smacked the ball. Jose Sar made a good save, but he only kicked it as, or punched it sorry, as far as Machado. And Machado was there to tuck it in. We lead 1-0. This is a really important goal. And I might have to go to very, very, very defensive in a minute. I'm going to keep it. Right, here we go. Very defensive. Team instructions. Be more disciplined. Waste time. Right. Can we hold on now? Free kick. Castillo hits it long. Oh, Colo Vecchios heads the ball. Or spanks the ball off the line there. We've got two minutes left to go. And Kudu brings it forward. Whips it in. What a save. What a save by Diodis there. And it's all Pauk at the moment. Cherisis brings it forward. Stangle. Parolo. Loses the ball. Oh, no, he's won it back. Stangle now. Whips in. Shoots from distance. The ball has gone wide. And now we can just waste time and hopefully get this victory. It's taken him nearly 30 seconds to take this goal kick. Diodis now. Runs up to it. Or does he? He's taking his time. Nearly a minute to take this goal kick now. He's pushing everyone forward. He's still not taking it. He hits it long. Albanis... Flicks the ball forwards. And the whistle's gone. We've got a victory. Can you believe it? Machado, we played pretty well. They dominated the game, to be fair. They really should have got more out of it. But a fantastic defensive performance by, by us. sorry, And we finally got a victory. Our first victory in six games. And hopefully we can follow the song. We're going to quickly have a look at an update of the league. And as you can see... With today's results, Olympiacos winning 3 0. And Ike winning 2 0 there. Anyone else? We don't really need to worry about the other ones. So, as you can see, that means we are currently in fourth. Olympiacos are top. And we're three points behind Olympiacos, who we've still got to play again. I believe. I think we have. Uh, but we've beaten Palk, so that is important. AK is the next game. So, if we win this game. 
we could jump up to second place. So I quickly wanted to double check. We have not got Olympiacos again. Uh, they beat us in the second game, 1-0. That was our home game. We beat them away at the start of the playoffs. So uh, we started well. Obviously, we've had a bad run. How many defeats we had? I think we've just had the one defeat. Or was the Pout game, was that in the playoff? Yeah, that was in playoff. So we've had two defeats in the league table so far. We need, essentially, to win the next three games. That's what we need to win. We need to win this game. We should win these two, to be fair. And then we've obviously got a cup game here as well, which will... Won't be in the next episode. Hopefully, we'll qualify. If we do qualify for the final, then that would be the the next episode. But before we go into that, we've still got one more game to play in this episode, and that is the home game in the playoff against AK. Can we get a victory? So the second game of this episode kicks off now, and we are at home to AK. Same lineup, pretty much. Although Banis is coming for a softball of us. Can't even say his name there. Forgot that. Um, and also a tactical change. Now, Lavaja has always been a, uh, a threat towards us. So what I've done is I've I've uh, put Alex Garcia as a man marker for this man. If we can completely mark him out of the game, Sandara should easily cover him up. And then that will be those two eliminated. So hopefully that will work. But we will soon find out. And AK get the game underway. Fabes looking for Samu early on. And he gets the ball in the box. But Garcia is there to hack it away. And uh, 20 seconds gone in the game so far. And it looks... I believe this is the way it's going to start from the off. AK going to try and dominate this game. And um, potentially like we've done against Pauk. Maybe we're going to hit... Not that many chances, but limited ones. And Machado again, a fantastic long ball. Seven minutes gone. Machado with his 23rd of the season. We'd just like to state this is his most successful season in a Panathinaikos shirt so far. Colo with a fantastic long range pass over the top. Machado took advantage there and wrong foot the goalkeeper. Beat him at the near post. And we lead 1 0. This is a shock. I expected AK to really come at us, but we're playing really well so far. We look very tight defensively. But we need to make oh what do you, make some changes. Stop Samu getting them balls into the box. And Holt now brings the ball forward. Portillo. Long ball over the top looking for back assist. Samu now. Ilias wins the ball back. Hits it long. Machado knocks it forward. Plays it towards himself. He sets up Albanis. Albanis, good pass. Bazookas is through. He's hit the posts. I think he was put off by the sly tackle from the defender, but Kevin Trapp was lucky there. Colo picks up the ball. Hits it long, looking for Tassel, but it's headed clear. Portillo now. It's been a very entertaining game so far, and Holt is on the ball on the left-hand side. Whips the ball in the box. Samu's there. Samu scores. That's his 11 for the season. A fantastic goal for AK. And it's now one all here. And we have got a game on our hands. Holt took the ball well. Whipped the cross in. It was an early cross. And Samu was there to tuck it away. Ilias should have been marking him better there. That was pretty poor defending. But by the looks of it, I would say there's probably going to be a lot more goals in this game. Olympiacos lead 2-0 against Pauk. The free kick comes in and it's just gone over the bar. What are we going to do here? Oh, my assistant says we should play some more longer balls. Let's see what happens. That shot just going wide there. Olympiacos lead 3-0 now against Pauk. And that was a game we really needed potentially to be a draw. But as you can see, Olympiacos are ripping and pies 3-1 now. After the two goals are scored, we've not really seen anything in this game. Uh, I'm going to go with... I'm not happy... Hopefully get a better performance out of him. Garcia looks for Bazookas. And nothing comes of that attempt. Febus is getting too much space on the edge of the box. I don't know if that's because I've got Garcia man-marking um, 
Lavaja, but he's not really got in the game so far. But Zach Dess hits it in. Diodos with a save, and Sandaris couldn't pick up Febas, and it's 2 1 to AEK. That is disappointing, and uh, I'm going to bring on Corbellis now. Let's see what we can do. We've got 23 minutes to go. I'm going to whack this on more positive, and I'm going to shout out encourage to the players. Vizikdas getting a lot of the ball, whips it across. Ilias hits it long, looking for Albanis, who picks up the ball, and Albanis is through against his former club. Machado now! Oh, he's put it away. That should have been the equaliser. Can you believe it? And a great opportunity for Panathinaikos there, but they just couldn't score. We've got a free kick now. Bazookis, get in, son! Bazookis is 10th of the season, a beautiful free kick, and it's 2 2 with 12 minutes left of this game. What is going to happen? It's been a really, really good game so far. A curling free kick. And the keeper had no chance there. And will someone get a winner here? Both teams really need to win the game. The Olympiakos seems to be running away with it right now. And it's a good tackle there. Bajini is on the ball. Look, hitting it long looking for Machida. Uh, but Bakakis has won it back. Kevin Trapp hits it long looking for Holt. He finds Holt. And the Holt with a drive and run now. But he's tackled by Kolo. Kolo looks for Bazookas. Long ball for him. Looking for Machado who finds him. Plays a great ball to Tassel. Whips it in. Oh, the bonus. Oh, the keeper. Kevin Trout with a beautiful save. Point blank save. And our Banis really should have scored there. Literally, it was a yard out and the keeper stopped it. And we've got a, we've got a minute left. Holt on the ball. Portillo back to Holt. Is there going to be one last chance in this game? Akala, Patillo. Long ball over the top. Lavaja has been man-marked superbly today. He's not had a sniff in. Mavro. Long ball by Mavro. Machado flicks it down. Looking for Vaginidis. Good run by him. Oh, and that was a poor pass. Plays back to Trap. Long. Tandaris. Bazookis. And it's taken all sorts of deflections here. Kolo heads it away. Fabas picks up the ball now. Long ball over top, looking for Lavaja. Jean, and it's full-time whistle's gone. It's finished 2-2, and surely that is the end of the season for Panathinaikos. But what we'll do is I'm just going to do the team talk, and then we'll have a look at the league table. So after that result, you can see we're sitting in third place. There is still two more games to go in the league. But we are five points behind Olympiakos. So I think Olympiakos, despite having an awful season and only nicking it at the end. We'll show you the full league table in a minute. They look like they've managed to win the league. I don't know how, but it just shows you that going forward next season, we don't have to start that well. As long as we've got players fit and a good squad um, come the playoff stage, then that's when we can essentially win the league whereas this season we've played really well all season and towards the end we're probably a bit tired but um hopefully we can get into second place but i'm going to show you the actual league table as you can see we finished second aek were third uh, first sorry olympiakos originally were in third place and seven points behind us so this is one thing that i don't agree with where it splits into two leagues because we've played so well here and that was screwed. But essentially, you could say, if we didn't split off and we just played each other again, then it might have it might have happened anyway. If I get to the final of the cup, then we will come back for that. Um, if not, it'll probably be a pre-season special. I might even just do one where we play the last game of the season just to see where we finished. So we just have this game against the Traumatos uh, and see and see where it goes. So thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Obviously, it's not the way that we wanted to end the season. We've been on a bad run. I think the Milan game really affected our confidence. But hopefully, we can finish off in style. We're, I doubt we're going to win the league. But if we can finish second, I'll be happy with that. And if we can win the cup, then I'll be happy with that as well. So make sure you tune in to the next episode to find out what happened.